Apple just released a major new feature for Vision Pro users. Personas are no longer caged in those tiny little boxes and they can move in 3D space. Here, let me show you. These are called spatial personas and it allows you and multiple others to virtually coexist, making Vision Pro feel much less isolating than before. Personas themselves have improved quite a bit as well. Looking at mine, my face doesn't feel so lifeless, and my eyes are at least a bit more expressive. Textures look good too, like my beard. Launching in beta for all users, assuming you're running at least Vision OS 1.1, to start, I began a FaceTime call with Wes. Hey Wes! Then open Control Center and tap the Spatial button. The box around your avatar fades away, and instead, a ghost-like recreation of you will hover in space, even showing your hands. It's actually crazy to experience this. It still has a bit of an uncanny valley effect going on, and I'm not sure how I feel about the spectral appearance, but at the same time I do feel more connected with who I'm talking to. I can see Wes reacting to things, where he's looking, or see him interact with UI elements. This will work with up to five people and allow you to watch movies together, share virtual environments, play games, or collaborate. These spatial personas are movable as well. Just pinch and you can move your friend wherever you'd like. But when in different apps, their position may be automatically rearranged to fit the scene or even locked in place. For example, when we were looking at photos together or collaborating in freeform, our personas were placed side by side. When we were playing Battleship, however, Wes is automatically positioned sitting across from me. I love playing co-op games in Vision Pro. If we were playing like hearts in game room here, four personas would be appropriately situated around the table. Just how cool is that? I criticized Apple pretty heavily at the launch of Vision Pro for not having any good co-present software, but something like this really helps fill that gap. Do experiences like this make you more interested in Vision Pro? Let me know down below in the comments. I love how Apple handled the audio here making great use of those built-in spatial speakers to make the sound emit directly from the persona. As Wes talks and I move my head, the audio always sounds like it's coming from his direction. It's wild. With more people here, this would make it way easier to focus on who's talking. Apple did say that this is still in beta, and there are definitely still some bugs with spatial personas at the moment. For example, sometimes when I look at Wes, he just fades away so much that I can barely even see him. And I've also struggled at placing or rearranging objects, like the table in Game Room. Nine times out of ten, it only let me move the virtual table forward and back. Only rarely did it allow me to move it up and down. It just kept getting confused. Spatial personas make the Vision Pro so much more of a social device, and I can easily see myself using this feature. Now, there's only the problem of how many of my friends actually have a Vision Pro.